Hi friends, how are you? I'm doing okay, except I'm a little under the weather, so if I sound a little funny, that's why. But I had to get on here today anyway to show you these books that I got last weekend. So this book haul is very different than my normal book hauls. It's all anatomy books. So almost all medical anatomy textbooks, vintage 1950s anatomy textbooks, and, and then a couple that are related to art and um, drawing. So I just thought it would be so fun to have a, a book haul video that was just anatomy books because I know they are always very popular and I've never had so many that I could do a book haul just on anatomy books. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you guys what I got. And remember, if you see anything that you like, there's a link to my shop with just these anatomy books in it in the description. So I hope you will go and check that out and find something for yourself. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you don't mind sitting on my living room floor with me and my cat, okay? It's just the easiest place for me to do this little uh, video haul. So I'm going to show you three art books that are related to um, the human body and anatomy. The first one is called Pictorial Anatomy of the Human Figure, and it is from 1956. Torn dust jacket, but with a mylar cover here. So this one is a work of art all on its own. Frederick Taubes, when you open it up to the first section, it is called The Head, okay? So then look at some of these illustrations. Isn't that amazing? So each page of this book is just full of these fantastic illustrations and notes. Collarbone and shoulder bone. So that whole book is just full of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I have two copies of Bridgman's Complete Guide to Drawing from Life. This is the newer one and it's from 1975. Inside it's green. And then the older one is from 1958. And it's got a nice retro looking cover, including this woman holding that ball, um, looking very mid-modern. This one is also green, but a little bit fancier. You see that? So now let's take a look inside this one. They're both very similar in content. So here's an example of what you would see inside this book. Distribution of the masses. You see that? And then head and neck. Uh, cube construction. And some arm bones. So this whole book is just chock full of all those lovely illustrations. Both of them are. So one is 1958, one is 1975. Okay, now we're going to get into some medical textbooks. This first one is crazy. Uh, a collection of urogenital drawings. Okay, that is exactly what you think it is. So um, this is from 1952. Here's an example that's not so naughty. That just looks like the kidney and stuff. Bladder. I'm going to flip through those carefully so as to not shock my audience bladder obstructions, then we have kidney obstructions, okay? And then we have more bladder obstructions. This one's kind of graphic, just warning you. So you got some medical instrument stuff going on there and some bladder bugs. And then it gets just, you know, as gruesome as you could imagine for a book called A Collection of Urogenital Drawings. I can't show you the rest. Um, but it is very interesting, okay? Next we have, from 1958, Surgery of the Head and Neck, a handbook of operative surgery. So this one is really cool because the drawings are specific to, I suppose, what a surgeon would be seeing. Um, there's some surgical instruments and where to cut. There's some more of that. All kinds of interesting drawings here, various head and neck uh, ailments and surgeon surgical procedures. I don't even know what some of that stuff is, but it's all head and neck, so I felt okay showing it to you. So that again is from 1958, surgery of the head and neck. This next one is from 1950. It's called Anatomy uh, Regional and Applied. Okay. It's a little shabby. This one has had also some water damage. So some of the pages are sticking together along the bottom. So they just need to be carefully pried apart and they usually won't cause any damage. There is one page that I ripped on accident. Um, 
Here it is. See, I did that. So there's the x-rays. And then throughout this book, we have lots of black and white and color illustrations of all different parts of the body. There's the hand. This is a college level anatomy textbook. So, and, and there's one that incorporates a lot of color. So that is generally the style of the illustrations in this book is that um, if they're not, they're, they're generally black and white, but with some highlighted colors to show and differentiate various systems. Okay, so that is from 1950. Next is from 1955, and this book is a college level textbook as well. It's called The Extremities. So each page in this book looks like this. So it has what the extremity bone is, and then let's, let's pick one, pronator teres. Uh, so there's the pronator teres, and it also shows origin, insertion, function, nerve, artery, and some references. So each one comes with its own little illustration and then some information on it. So I thought that was really cool. That's from 1955. Next, from 1941, we have this interesting textbook called Developmental Anatomy, which is a textbook of embryology. So this is all um, in the womb stuff. So let's, uh, we fetal membrane of mammals. Um, it's got a fold out here of development of the baby. Uh, Anomalous trifid tongue. Sorry about that little baby. Then we have like a uh, development of the arteries, the vascular system. So just lots of um, various illustrations like this that are demonstrating, there's mammary glands, demonstrating how a fetus develops and all of its brain, uh, all, all its body systems develop. And there's some color in here as well. So this book is really cool. That's always an interesting subject matter. There's some more detailed illustrations, okay? So that's from 1941. And then the last anatomy book I have is uh, one that I've bought and sold once before. It's called the An Atlas of Anatomy. And it is from, let's see, where my notes here. 1956, another college level textbook. So this is what the pages look like inside. This one also has some water seepage there. So on this book is the top of the pages that you might find a few are just ripply or maybe lightly sticking together. Uh, but this whole book is illustrated copiously. I don't know what this stuff is, but section across, oh, I just showed you something naughty, I'm sorry. Uh, how, how did I manage to pick, uh, this whole entire book, how did I manage to pick somebody's private parts? I don't, I don't even know. Um, this is portal veins, let's see. I don't even know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's not naughty. There's something gentler okay but you can see the style of the illustrations in here is really cool and then this page kind of demonstrates that water rippling across the top you see that but still this is a really cool book so that's all my anatomy books you guys isn't that fun to have so many at one time um okay so you can go into the description of this video and find a direct link to a page on my website where i will have all of these anatomy books for sale Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed looking through all of those with me. I certainly enjoyed bringing them home and flipping through them because anatomy books are not the easiest thing to find. So the fact that I found so many in one um, trip was really, really fun for me. And I hope you enjoyed looking through them too. See you next time, friends.